traffic, Mr. Castle is ready to leave. Yes, sir. Stand by. Didn't know, yeah, ship it. No problem. The problem is, he knows. How does he know? He knows. At least he ought to know. He's been doing me long enough. You know, I told him you make good money with me. So why you want to mess with me? You know, that's not cool, man. You know what I mean? You get what you pay for. And this piece of shit tells me you get what I give you? Then fuck him. So I told the bitch. All right, motherfucker. You just wait and see what I get. You told him that? Yeah, I told him that. You fucking right, I did. In front of everybody. I lost my cool, man. But no one fucks with me like that. And then you sent Santos after him. Yeah. I heard they found Santos in the trunk of his car with his cock in his mouth. Yeah, you heard right. This motherfucker thinks he can do this to one of my people and get away with it. And who the fuck does he think he is? Listen, I gotta do this, motherfucker. All right? I can't have nobody disrespecting me. I gotta give my respect back. This could have been simple, and now it isn't. Yeah, I know. And if it won't be done right, you won't do it. I know that, too. So you also know that when things are wrong at the start, Cost more to make them right. Like how much? Double. You gotta be fucking kidding me, Connor. Are you serious, man? Maybe there's something we could talk about or some kind of other way of payment or something. He threatened the mark in public, man. He sent Santos in, he got whacked, and everybody knows it. All of a sudden, you're on a budget. You called me, man. I didn't call you. If you call me back on this, it's gonna cost you even more. You see all that? 
See why there's a lot of people who would like to see you whack. One crazy ass white boy got him. Excuse me. Need to make a call. In private. What about my problem? What about it? So I want it gone, damn it. Listen, I'll pay you a quarter now, and the rest when the job is done. Half now. Half. Okay. You're right. I should have called you in the first fucking place. But I'll tell you one thing. I want this bitch wiped out of existence. And whether he goes to the pearly gates or to the gates of hell, I don't even want them to have records of his ass. You like the view, don't you? Yeah. LA's cool. A little something here for everybody. I think I liked it better when there wasn't something here for everyone. I need to make that call now. All right, I'll give you some privacy. Wait a minute, what the fuck? Why am I leaving? This is my penthouse. It's my call. Yeah, OK. So we got a deal here. When does it go down? When it's time. It's time now. I can't sleep knowing this motherfucker's alive. Get a shrink. I don't need one. I got you. Now, everything you need to know about this guy is here. I ain't trying to sandbag you or nothing. I'm trying to push you or pull one over your head. This guy. It's a cop. Surveillance specialist. I want to know this guy. You don't care, do you? I heard that about you, man. That it's all about the money. That you got a plan. I mean, that's cool by me. Business. Never personal. Be cool. And just so you know, this cop is insane. Oh, and by the way, if you want some cigars, something to drink, one of the girlies, help yourself. Kase and Sukas. Nadine's. What's Jermaine to you? Hey, she's been my lady. Hey, she knows all about this deal. I don't do business in the street. Aw, oh, man. Come on. I know the drill. I wouldn't even be absent unless it was something major. Where do you want to meet? My yard, Flores. I'll be there in an hour. Coming. I told you he was fucking coming. Cool. Come on in. Money first, Dante. Hey, yo. Step out of the light, man. Show me what you got. 
All you care about is the money. Here it is. Just like I said, the square biz. Bring it here. Oh, you, you just must want to count it or something. I'll do that later. When did you become so trusted? I'm not. I'm hoping you want to live a little longer. Oh, you some badass motherfucker, huh, Kyle? You just a badass, regular pistolero, huh? Well, there's a day coming, kind of, when you ain't gonna be as bad as you think you are. Maybe that day be today. What the fuck? What do you want, Moran? How's your mother doing? Not real good. Sorry to hear. Are you? I have a warrant to search you. You want to do it in the hall? Well, I don't think those nurses need anything to talk about, so... Here's good. You carrying? Yeah. It's right here on the chair. Go easy when you hand it to me. You do have a permit. Jack, take me six months to make this kind of money. Where were you tonight? Here and there. Well, business appointments. Security consultant business is jumping, isn't it? Oliver Castle, client of yours? Well, I make it a habit not to give out the names of my clients. I asked you a question. And I answered it. Now you've seen my permit. Give me back my pistol. If it's clean, you can pick it up from ballistics tomorrow. Let me ask you. Oliver Castle. He served 17 months in a 30-year sentence. Why is that? I'm not clairvoyant. You worked for him. Is this all leading up to something? Oliver Castle was shot and killed three hours ago. The suits upstairs think you did it. You've got my gun. Why don't you test it? And the next time you need to talk to me, just give me a call, all right? Don't bother me when I'm with my mother. You ever hear the telephone? I tried calling you on your cell, but you had it turned off. I figured you'd be... And for the record, 
I haven't seen Ollie Castle in uh, eight years. I am sorry about your mom. Where's Nadine? Nah, she's right over there. You're out late. Is Jermaine here? She, um, she didn't show up tonight. Didn't call either. She's probably off with one of her knights in not so shiny armor. What do you know about Dante? Who he is, not what Jermaine sees in him. What's going on? I don't know, but I'm gonna find out. When you hear from Jermaine, find out where she is and have her call me on my cell phone. Why? I owe her $500. But don't you dare mess with her. Connor. Frank. Ted Castle. Where are you? I'm at Nadine's place. But hold on for a second. about what happened to my father, Frank. Yeah. I want to see you first thing in the morning. Okay. Here you go. Very slow. Two back. Oh, call you back. Poking me with that gun because you're starting to piss me off. Oh, really?
Andre. You are carrying? Yeah. Ted's waiting for you inside. Brandy, I think I'm gonna have another. No thanks, I had coffee. My condolences on the passing of your father, Ted. Thank you, Frank. My father always liked you. Did you have anything to do with the death of my father, Frank? You think I did? Answer the goddamn question. Listen, I think you better just pull the trigger or put that away. It might be better if uh, I killed him instead of you. Perfectly capable of doing my own killing, Bill. I never got the papers. Do us a favor, would you, old boy, and back off. Now, I ask you a question. Did you have anything to do with the murder of my father? If you think I did, you ought to go ahead and shoot me. You didn't answer my question. Yes, I did. You just didn't hear me. <laughs> fuck you, Frank. <laughs> and fuck you, Ted. Come on, sit down. Let's talk. Care for that drink now? I just want to hear what you've got on your mind. So how did you find out about my father? Moran told me. I never liked Moran. I don't like his ways. You just don't like him because he kicked your ass. Him and six of his pals. That's the way you see it. God damn it! Why are you acting like this when we have so much in common? We don't have anything in common. Well, what do you call four years of high school? That was then, and, and this is now. I didn't have to go to school with you people. Then why did you? My dad thought it was important to be on good terms with common people, learn how they think. So who killed my father, Frank? I have no idea. You've got 48 hours to find out who killed my father, or I'm gonna have you whacked. I kind of thought we were on friendly terms. We were, but not anymore. I'll pay you a million dollars for finding out who did it, and a half a million for each that you take out that was responsible for the hit. I bet that's the best offer you've ever gotten. It's the highest offer I ever turned down. You're gonna do this for me? I need a retainer. I thought we were on friendly terms. We were, but not anymore. You want your money up front to find out who killed my father. All right. Where do you want your money? Right here, in this account. Your money will be there in one hour. As for you, you have 48 hours. You can either be a very rich man or extremely dead. It's your choice. Bill, would you be so kind as to show my old high school chum out, please? 
old high school buddy. over there you lost you know I've heard that said about my generation I'm sort of ambivalent about the issue what do you think <laughs> these people. That's William O. Henderson, Castle's chief of staff, brilliant political strategist. Don Mario Giotto, he is an old-fashioned godfather. Don't you just love that? I love nude men between silk sheets. These photos, I like. Where'd you take them? At Ted Castle's place this morning. What is wrong with you? Are you crazy? Do you want to die? These people carry guns. I know, Liz, all kinds. You should have seen them. Who is this guy? I don't know yet. Get an ID on the guy you don't know. Call your cop boyfriend. I don't have boyfriends, Liz. I have lovers. And Jim Moran will never be one of them. I went out with him once. I didn't like him. Well, don't tell him that, sweet cakes. Play him. Play him. Get all the information, all that inside stuff. Besides, it's a huge improvement over the guitar player, the one with the earring who said gig all the time. I liked his motorcycle and the wind in my face. You liked the danger. I've got a lunch date. I'm late as hell. Go back to work. Go! I wasn't done reading. 
base. What? Found one of your listening devices. Under my desk. I've been looking for that. Goddamn cleaning people. Hey, oh, can you hook me up with a GPS? I need it for a surveillance job. Okay. So why was Connor terminated? Yeah, it doesn't matter. Miss Silverman. Hey, excuse me. Can I get a word with you? What about? Uh, <clears throat> this morning. Yeah, well, I just had to run. Yeah. Uh, can I buy you lunch? I don't know if I should have lunch with you. You're supposed to be dangerous. About a cup of coffee, how dangerous can that be? Security consultant, huh? Oh, the police have a different name for what you do. Listen, the point is, Miss Silver. Just make it Mitch. Okay. What did you want to talk to me about? What I do for a living is uh, highly confidential. Mm -hmm. The people I work for wouldn't touch me with a 10-foot pole if my picture was in the newspaper. Now, that could cost me a lot of money, or even my life. And I'm not ready to go yet. No, well, you look fairly fit. So how are your, um... <clears throat> yeah. Uh, they hurt. They're, uh, sore. Should I feel sorry for you? What were you doing at Castle's house? The Castle family's been close friends of mine for many years. Came by to offer your condolences at 7 in the morning? Look, maybe it's time that you and I start to talk straight with each other. I know what you do for a living. What would that be? You kill people? That true? Yes. Oh. Just like that? Just like that. <clears throat> Listen, I don't condone what I do, all right? The assignments that I accept are such that if I had to kill a child in a carriage, you better believe that I have a valid reason for it. You understand what I'm saying? Listen, you asked the question. <laughs> uh, yeah, but... Meaning that if I can handle the answer, don't ask the question? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, well, you know, my job isn't always that cool either. I mean, sometimes I have to stick a camera right into the face of someone who's in the midst of a personal tragedy. Okay. I appreciate that you talked straight with me and that you even told me stuff that without having to say is off the record. But I, I still want to know what you're doing at the Castle House this morning. Well, I'll tell you, if you guarantee my picture won't appear in the newspaper. Can't do that. My editor has it. Well, somehow I don't believe that. I bet it's gonna be in there tomorrow, and I'll bet you a thousand bucks. And if I say it won't, and it doesn't? Then you win the bet. Is this how you've kept your name and your face out of the papers all these years? Buying off reporters? <laughs> well, there's a news flash, Connor. It's a new day in town. I think it's business as usual, don't you? No. No, maybe you'll feel differently after you see tomorrow's paper. Huh? What are you doing here?
What did he say? <laughs> Do you believe that son of a bitch is trying to buy me off? For what? Who cares for what? He's got some nerve, you know, you... <laughs> you men, you guys are really something. Were you spying on us? Well, I didn't want anything to happen to you. So how much he offer you? That's none of your business. Where do you get off following me? I'm trying to get information for a story. He sees you hanging out. He's probably not going to talk to me. You're right. I apologize. Will you accept my apology? Yeah, I can try to overlook it. Good. So how much he offer you? Go solve a crime or something. A thousand dollars doesn't seem like much of a bribe. Well, a thousand dollars doesn't seem like much. Why can't I get a raise of 500? Because you don't need the money. That's not the point. It's Here the go, principle. Liz. Liz, the guy wasn't even subtle about the bribe. Other than what your cop boyfriend told He's you. He's not my boyfriend. Other than what your cop friend told you, what else have you got? Oh, what do you mean? What if Mr. Connor is what he says he is, a security consultant? It wouldn't then be oh. ethical for us to run oh. his photo in our paper. Besides, we could be sued. Oh. Come on, Liz! Come on yourself! Did he admit to being a trigger man for Castle? Oh, yeah. Yeah, he told me all about the people that he killed, and then he asked me what I thought about the Lakers. Come on, Liz, are you going to run the story? No. Spike the photo. But you can keep it on file. Liz, I know that Castle hired this guy to kill the people responsible for his father's murder. I know it. We are done with this talk. Where are you going? To my office. L.A. News. Hold a second, please. Hey, Eddie, you got a minute? I got ten. You haven't had a single solitary soul for early morning breakfast. I guess blood at the entrance isn't all that great for business. Thinking of going fishing. You know, I always wanted to do that. Let's take a ride, Eddie. Someone you know wants to talk to you. Okay. Sure. Who is it that wants to talk to me? It was me, Eddie. I'm the one that wants to talk to you. Hey, don't mess with me. I know people, huh? Well, I know you know people, and that's why I want to talk to you. I bet you're really good at uh, scaring the hell out of busboys and valets, and I'll tell you one thing. If you make one fucking move, I'm going to ask my permission. I'm gonna blow one of your knees off. Okay. Did you enjoy seeing Mr. Castle get gunned down last night? Huh? Don't start lying to me, pal. You don't want to lie to me because it pisses me off. And you absolutely don't want to piss me off. Understand? Yeah. So why don't you just fucking shoot me? Maybe I should. Maybe I will. Let me show you something over here first. Uh, let me show you something. Open that door. Go in there. Celeste. Come here, man. Milk. Sit down. Celeste here tells me that you came home with ten thousand dollars last night. Is that true? Uh, it wasn't that much. No. Put those on. Go fuck yourself. Put them on, like I said. I'm gonna stick the girl. Go ahead, get them on. Okay. Okay, just, just don't hurt Celeste. Are you telling me what to do? 
No. Tell me about the money. You know, business has been real good, and we had a lot of high rollers in lately. Ten grand, that's a lot of tips. Uh, Celeste has got it all wrong. She's got it all wrong. So she's lying. Are you lying to me, Celeste? Will you stop? You stop. Right here. I just give this a little push, and Celeste, history. Don't. I'm gonna stick her. Yes. She told the truth. I, um, I didn't make it in tips. Vic Mays gave it to me. Vic Mays? Yeah. You mean Detective Mays? Yes, sir. Why would a cop, moonlighting for Cassius Kane, want to pay you to spot Holly Castle? I heard that Mays and Cassius had a, a fallen out. About what? Mays isn't happy with the cut he was getting. It wasn't that hard, was it? That was great, kid. You did good. That was a real good touch with the knife thing. <laughs> I didn't hurt you, did I? Nah. <laughs> I've been hurt worse. Hey, what's going on here? Did you set me up? You're damn right I did. I was worried about you, you oaf. You wouldn't have told him nothing unless we set it up like this. He would have had to bust you up real bad. She saved your life, you know that. I mean, she's very fond of you. Something you want to say here, Eddie? I care about you too, baby. Listen, I was kind of counting on that, but unfortunately, so are the people that you keep company with, so I think it's a really good idea for the both of you to get out of town. Key, and them cups. All right. You can let yourself out whenever you get around to it, and you might want to keep those and have fun with them, but this is yours, this trailer. Uh, registrations in your name and keys in the ignition and uh, I left some fishing equipment in the back for two. Oh, thanks, Mr. Connor. Thanks a lot. You're welcome. Western Union. I think this son of a bitch is missing me on purpose. What's that dot on your forehead?
Drop your weapon. Drop it or I'll blast you out of your drawers. I'll bet you a hundred bucks I put a bullet in your brain before you ever press that trigger. Okay. I'll let you slide this time. And let there be a next time. What were you doing here? Moran said you might be here. Said you'd come here to visit your mother. I guess everybody knows you come here. Maybe you should switch cars or something. Maybe you should go into hiding. How can I find out who's trying to whack me if I go into hiding? Yeah, right. Makes sense. You always make sense, Frank? If I did, I'd be on the beach in the south of France with a drink in my hand, but that costs a lot of money. Which you don't have, and even if you did, you couldn't leave because of your mother. Why don't you go home, and I'll call you later. Promise? I promise. Okay. I gotta change that tire. The cops are gonna have a whole bunch of questions for me when they get here. You know, I can help you with the tire. I'm really good with stuff like that. And I make a great character witness. I'd rather you make me a pie. I like to cook. I do. So you'll call? I always do what I say. Okay, but I don't do windows. And I only do laundry under protest. There's gotta be six million cars in L.A. County. How did I get you on my tail? You got me wired? What the hell happened to your truck? You get caught in a gang war? Where were you tonight? Here and there, business appointments. You keep very odd hours. I'm not in the nine to five business. Well, neither am I. So I guess we have something else in common besides Mitch Silverman. What do you think of Mitch? Why? Because I want to keep her all to myself. So you're going to have to stay away from her, otherwise we're going to have a problem. Number one, don't ever tell me what we are going to do. Number two, my relationship with Miss Silverman is strictly business. Good. As a matter of fact, that's what I want to discuss with you. We don't have any business to discuss. Oh, I don't know about that. 
There's always something you want to know. And information is power. Information's only half of the equation. Money is the other. Well, if you have one, you can always get the other. What do you want, Moran? You offering me money to be a police informer? I wouldn't do that. The kind of money Cassius Kane gave you the other night, hell, it'd take me ten months to make that. No, I was thinking something like the other way around. Don't you want to ask me about someone? Vic Mays. Very bad cop being watched. By whom? Internal affairs. They think he's shaking down dealers, maybe even dealing himself. That's all they think he's doing? Well, they wear suits. You know they don't know what it's like on the streets. Someone better tell them that Mays is gonna start getting careful if he thinks he's being watched. Maybe somebody should advise, you know, internal affairs to back off. Maybe. Might be a career thing to do. Maybe. I want Mays' files. Everything Internal Affairs has on him. I'll see what I can do. What are you doing? How much I owe you? Nothing. I owe you. Just so you know, my relationship with Miss Silverman might not remain all business. Hello? Hey, it's me. Do you like having company? Okay. Okay. an early breakfast or to take me to bed?
Maybe you should take my car, since someone's using yours for target practice. waste any time. Jermaine's in my office. There's two guys outside. One with bleached white hair. Outside watching your place. You know who they are? No. They were in here. Sipping soda till I closed the place. Should I now put on the bulletproof vest I don't have? I don't think you have to do that. Who would shoot anyone as pretty as you? Oh, some homophobe would. Did they see you come in here? Well, I doubt it. When I saw him, I called 911. I reported two suspicious men in a car. And I think those two are probably in a black and white right now, answering questions. Always thinking, aren't you? They said they were looking for Jermaine. What did you say? That I hadn't seen her. Anyone else been looking for her? Not that I know. Go easy on her, Frank. She's all I have. Hi, Connor. I love you. Someplace like that. But I don't have any money. I save and I save and I save, and then some guy comes along with a really good story. And there goes all my money. That makes Nadine so mad. I guess she has such great retirement plans for us. It's a little house far away where no one can find us. The white picket fence. And roses and lots and lots of kids and pot belly pigs. I feel like such a loser for not contributing. And the $500 you gave Nadine doesn't make it, Frank. Well, maybe you could find a thank you in there somewhere. Instead of that look of death, he just shot me. My dad? Yeah. I'm sorry. Thanks for the money, Connor. I'm so stupid. And I don't have any manners. I'd trade my body for brains in a second. I really would. All I'm good at is fucking. 
I can't even cook spaghetti. I'm so stupid, stupid, stupid. <laughs> How come you never hit on me, Connor? Don't I turn you on? We need to talk about Dante now, Jermaine. I know Dante liked me a lot. He never hit me real hard. Just a little when he got mad. And I covered up the bruises with makeup so Nadine wouldn't kill him. What did Dante tell you about this hit on me? Dante said this thing was big and dangerous and he gave me a phone number and he said if I needed help to call. tried this number yet? No. I thought Nadine would do that, but she called you instead. I wish I was smart. All the money I could have made. <sighs> Detective May has set up a retirement fund for me because I did things for him now and then. Could I do anything for you, Connor? I'm really good at Things. Tell me about Detective Mays. I can't do that. It's a police thing, and I'm not supposed to talk about it. I thought we didn't have any secrets between us. This is about my retirement, Frank. That's different. Money rules. How much money? I don't know. I'm not really good at this retirement or relocating stuff. What do you think? 25,000? 50,000? How about 40,000? That's what Dante was gonna pay to get you whacked. And cash is better than a check. What can you tell me about Maze? Now? Frank, I'm starving and I don't have any money. I mean, maybe if we went to the Dome and had some spaghetti and caviar and champagne and stuff. It's four o'clock in the morning. The dome is closed. Oh. Well, how about if we go to Cadillac Jack's? They have the best Diet Coke. I mean, I remember when I was a little girl and my dad had this old friend, he was our neighbor, and at night he used to come over and crawl through the window and get in bed with me and touch my hair. I mean, you know, I think, you don't know, I, I think I was a pretty little girl, and I think you knew that, too. I'm sorry. Now, would you please tell me about Detective May? I just don't want to talk about other men when I'm with you. I mean, you know, you have really nice hands, and you're so nice to be with. I'm not going to ask you again. I knew you'd get mad at me. I knew you would. Would you please tell me about Detective Mays? God damn it! Okay. I'll tell you about Detective Mays.
no one saw the shooter. From what we can tell, the shot was fired from a car parked over there. Where's Connor? After I took his statement, I let him go. He looked beat. We still have this house under surveillance? We sure do. Good. He looked beat, huh? He sure did. I bet he's asleep. If he ever does that, I mean. I guess you weren't dreaming about me. Well, not, well, not just now, but I was earlier. Uh, how did you get in here? The key is on your, uh, on the sob, the keychain. I hope you don't mind, I'm here, but, uh, didn't want to go home to my place. I don't like to sleep with a bunch of cops watching me. They bugged your place? Bugged and videoed, yeah. Listen, uh, <clears throat> you want me to leave? I can go. No, I don't want you to leave. I just want to know if possibly we have a future together. Kind of a tough girl, aren't you? No. No, Frank, I'm not tough. I just photographed a woman who had her head smashed in by what some technocrat cop called a heavy grain sniper bullet designed to stop people forever. She was really, really dead, Frank. And what I saw made me sick to my stomach. So no, no, I'm not tough. But I got my shot, you know, I had to beat out the other papers because that's in my blood and I hate it. I'm sick of making a living the way that I do. That makes two of us. Why don't we change our lives then? Why don't we do something that we both enjoy while we still can? Before what we're doing destroys us all together. Let's go somewhere. It's not that simple. I don't want to spend the rest of my life looking over my shoulder. I need to find out who's looking for me and get them out in the open. Yeah. Yeah, I get it. But I don't like it. I think that I'm probably out of my goddamn mind for being here with you. You're a reporter, and your boyfriend's a cop. He's not my boyfriend. No? No. Lovers, and I keep them at a very safe distance. Strictly my imagination. That way I don't have to say good morning or good night or make small talk with somebody that I have nothing in common with other than lust. How long has that been going on? A very long time. Too long. You and me, we can go somewhere. 
I always liked the idea of Southern France and a man who knows his limitations but isn't devolved by them. Are you also capable of making a commitment? Why are you doing this? You crossed the line. You got in my face. Let's go. It's time. Coffee this morning. Now, if you could go back to when you were a teenager, what would you want to become? I mean, if you weren't who or what you are now, what do you think you'd be? Dad, probably. Frank. What are you going to do about your situation? I gather you can't shoot your way out of this one. Let me go to my paper. We can blow the lid off of this whole thing and we can get the cops involved. That's not going to work. Why not? If we expose whatever this is... It's not going to work, trust me. Why not? Because it just won't. No, is there more to this that I don't know? Am I supposed to just tell you everything now just because we slept together? What are you, Mata Harry? That is not why I slept with you. Okay, so I'll take that as a given. What's your point? My point is that I could help you if you would just let me. But you can't, and that is the point. Trust me, Frank. Trust me. It's not you I have a problem with. What about your editor? Liz, what about her? Well, how do you know who she's hooked up with? <laughs> she's not hooked up with anyone. Okay, you're so sure about that. Why don't we give her a call and put her on the phone with me? Okay, go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> go. She left me a message. Yeah. Uh, Liz Thomas, please. Liz Thomas. Hi, Miss Thomas, it's, uh... Frank Connor, returning your call. Can you hold on a second? I'm sorry, I was in the midst of something. Um, okay, Mr. Connor. Thank you for calling me back. One of our reporters had a conversation with me about your photograph appearing in our paper. 
That's right. Well, Mitch Silverman does not make those decisions here. I do. So from now on, I think you should deal with me. There are no guarantees in life, so if you should figure in anything, how shall we say, newsworthy again? Or if you hear about anything about Mr. Castle, you should call me as soon as you can. Okay, I'll, I'll do that, Miss Thomas. Thanks a lot. Comments. <gasps> that bitch. Hi, honey. Connor called. What's wrong? Something's about to happen. I know it. I can feel it. Some woman called you when you were out. Wants to meet you at this address. When you were napping this afternoon, I took a look at my passport photo. I shouldn't have done that. Why not? Because I had that picture taken two months ago, and I now look ten years older. When is this going to be over with, Frank? When the fat lady sings. When I get a page or a phone call. Dante's salvage yard in an hour. Sure. You promise not to shoot me if I'm a little late. Yeah. Now what? The fat lady just cleared her throat. your gun atop the car, Frank. I don't like to repeat myself. Now push it towards me, Frank. Well, why are you doing this, Nadine? What's going on? Push it towards me.
You can have your gun back now, Frank. Pick it up. There's still one bullet left in the chamber. Pick it up, Frank. I don't like to repeat myself. Pick it up. Why would you want to pin Moran's murder on me, Nadine? You and I have been friends for years. Jermaine and I were friends. You and I are acquaintances. Why are you doing this? I got Jermaine off the street. I had her doing good. She was set to do even better. You got her killed with your questions. You just couldn't leave it alone, could you, Frank? The answers you wanted weren't yours to have. So my punishment is to be framed for Moran's murder. Someone has to pay for my pain. Pretty good shot, don't you think? You just don't know when to quit, do you? I needed to get you out in the open, Maze. Well, here I am. So what are you gonna do about it? You got an interesting dilemma right now, don't you? One round in the chamber. What are you gonna do? You use it on yourself or on me? Go ahead, big boy. Take your best shot. Hold it! Did I do okay? You did great. How come you didn't come through the front door like you normally do? I don't feel like I normally do. Is there a problem? Where's Ted? He's inside. He's waiting for you. Frank, excellent. You're just in time for cocktails. Please, put away that silly gun. If I had a problem with you, I would have had you killed the moment you climbed over my wall and entered my garden. So what do you have for me? It's payday. Oh. It is. So you found out who killed my father? 
You did. And how did you come to that conclusion? That's your private, unlisted phone number. And Dante Gates at Jermaine. The number you paged me with the night your father was killed. Excellent. Right on the money. You see, I told you he was smart, Bill. I can kill your own father. Oedipus comes to mind. You see, we do what we have to do, Frank. My father, he betrayed our family. Jeopardized all our businesses we'd built up over the years. He can't make deals with the government and carry on business as usual. Our business partner started to back off. I had to kill him. Set an example. Why do you put me under the gun to find out who killed your father? Didn't you figure that I'd find out the truth sooner or later? Well, I was hoping you wouldn't, but I didn't really have any other choice. I couldn't use any of my own people to kill Mays and the others. You were the perfect foil, Frank. You can be bought, but you can't be owned. And you gotta admit, you were expendable, even though I must admit I was in there rooting for you all the way. You thought Mays could take me? Let's say that he did whack me. What would that have gotten you? Mays would have been tried and convicted for your murder, which would have exposed Cassius Kane's entire operation, along with the rest of the corruption in the police department, which you have to admit is bad, Frank. That stuff needs to be straightened out. Didn't know you were civic-minded. <laughs> Tell him, Bill. Well, we intend to run for governor. And uh, getting credit for uh, breaking up a master crime ring would be wonderful for our campaign. Too bad I wasn't more obliging. Well, that's really no problem, Frank. You see, we got that covered. My father, he kept files on all those who ran the political machinery. And those files are now in our possession, along with the power that goes with them. The two of you have been planning this for a long time, haven't you? <laughs> Long-range planning was always a big problem for you, Frank. You always lived for the moment. You didn't have a articulated goal or objective. Now's your chance, Bill. Two million in cash. You earned it. After all, you did find out who killed my father. But I want you out of town in 24 hours. Otherwise, evidence implicating you for the murders of Mays, Moran, and all the rest of the sordid cast will suddenly appear out of nowhere. And I have under high authority that you will be convicted and sentenced to death. So take the two million, Frank, and good luck. Come on, it's all there. Two million dollars in unmarked hundred dollar bills. Best currency in the world, Frank. Hell, they'll accept it anywhere and everywhere with a smile, and maybe even a little ass lick in the boot. You can't beat what you got there, Frank. And forget about justice and honor and service to society and all that crap. There comes a time when a man's got to take care of himself. Everybody sells out, Frank. It's just a question of how much. The world is full of graves of people who fought fights that couldn't be won, Frank. Le saut de France est ici, monsieur. Bon chance. Au revoir. Good luck, Frank.
Hold up a minute. What are you doing here, Liz? Oh, don't tell me you two are an item. There's so much you don't know, and so much you don't want to know. Let's go, Frank. You go ahead. I'll meet you at the check-in. Don't mess with my man any more than you already have. Got it? Are you here to make sure I'm leaving? Of course. But then again, when you say you're gonna do something, you always do it. I hope that your retirement is everything that you wish for. Good luck. Yeah, good luck to you too. Really think you got a shot at being governor? It's in the bag. Bon voyage! Don't spend your money too quick! Loser. Ever feel like just getting on a plane? I'm flying on out of here and leave everything behind? Just take off and go somewhere. something to drink? Champagne for two. Thank you.